Action. Our machine is the Annihilator 3000. Our engineering firm is Ben Toronto for president. This is Brian, <laughs> that's Hank, and I'm Ben. Uh -huh. I switch accounts. Yeah. Yeah, we got to work out this Google site stuff still. While he's trying to find the design group who can describe <laughs> it, uh, we actually encountered a very interesting client recently. Um, Mrs. Susie came up to our engineering firm and said, I will pay you however much money it takes, in this case $86 million, <laughs> to build a lift because I have a cat and this cat is very ornery. She just gave birth and it won't, it refuses to leave its favorite stand. Stand happens to be 12 inches off the ground. Um, and its kittens need to get up to 12 inches in order to feed and have their milk. So Susie was in desperate need of this lift, $86 million worth. <laughs> Good, design brief stuff now, all right. <laughs> A few ideas that we came up with. Yeah, this was my sketch. Um, basically, very similar to what happens right now, except the wheel and axle is all the way up here, um, and the block and tackle suspends this way, which wouldn't actually work, but in my mind it worked. <laughs> uh, this one's mine. Kind of like, so you have a few pulleys, and then you have a basket of some kind that you put the cat in, and then you pull it up, and then uh, it kind of didn't really work out the way I wanted it to, <laughs> the way I was thinking. But then there's also like a wheel and axle that'll like extend a platform that you can put the basket on, and the cat can get out. I came up with a few ideas. One of them was really similar to this. We had the wheel and axle, and then it went to a block and tackle, which would pull up our weight up the inclined plane. And then another idea that we tried out first was what we called the loop-de-loop. -loop. It was kind of like a parking garage. <laughs> so it would, we had multiple inclined planes, and this was a lot lower, so it went to here, and we had an inclined plane that went back this way and kept reversing. In our decision matrix, you'll see that we first originally went with the loop do loop, but that didn't work out, so we had to switch our ideas. There's a final sketch. Um, after the loop do loop failed, there was, we went to this design, um, just kind of innovating along the way. We ended up having to move. Um, this, the beginning of the pulley used to be all the way up here, and we moved it down because of uh, vectors, and it would just work out better efficiently that way. Uh, we added longer string to be able to do a block and tackle rather than just a pulley, um, and then we ended up with this in our final sketch. So the idea is Susie's not strong enough to lift her cat, but she can pull for a really long time. <laughs> These are the pictures of each of our simple machines. So for the first one, we had the um, block and tackle right here that you can see. This is the movable part of the block and tackle, and up here was our fixed part. Second one was the inclined plane that ran this way. And then our last one was the wheel and axle, which is at the beginning. Uh, these are our calculations. 
So for the each the individual IMAs for the incline plane, it was 1.49. <coughs> for the pulley, it was three, and the wheel and axle, it was 27.5. And the entire the total IMA of the entire machine was uh, 122.9, and the AMA was 20, and our efficiency was about 16.3%. Um, the only thing about our calculations was, you see the pulley, uh, we said it is three, when, and actually, and ideally, if this block and tackle was suspended directly straight up and down vertically, um, there's four supporting strings, so the IMA would be four, but in the case that it's at an angle, um, you're not going to get an IMA of four, and we haven't learned about that subject yet, and so uh, we compromise, and it would be, it would be somewhere around three, but we rounded it to three. Any questions? That is Luke a word. Yes. <laughs> if you're inventing it, 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 you can make up words. So what made you give up on your uh, parking loop to loop ramp? Was getting the weight to turn around and also having too much friction when you tried to get it. Okay. And me making fun of you every day, maybe? No. <laughs> that was that, that, to do it. That, <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll keep that in mind. I learned something. Anything else? $86 million.